disappointment for this young woman. The championship was hers. Greatness has only tantalized Yana Novotna. Until she wins, she won't erase the agony of being so close, yet so far. An unexpected brush with greatness comes from Natasha Zvereva, defeating the seven-time Wimbledon holder Steffi Graf and nine-time Grand Slam winner Monica Seles. She is now within reach of her first-ever Wimbledon singles final. The other surprise semifinalist is the 16th seed, Frances Natalie Toziad. After upsetting American hopeful Lindsay Davenport, the impossible has become a realistic dream. Challenge and reward, the quest for greatness. The semifinals, Wimbledon. Southwest of central London, the Old England Club, Wimbledon. Cloudy and cool this Thursday, so perhaps an added souvenir T-shirt for warmth. Those sweatshirts look good as well back there. And the best bargain on the grounds, five pounds for a seat cushion. It is a long day ahead. Strawberries, it's a tradition. Ladle on the cream, this is a special day. It's the ladies' semifinals. Make that two. This great, cool, breezy day, center court, Wimbledon. It'll be the semifinals, Hingis Novotna and Zverva Toziad to go on, fight for this treasure title. Low everyone, Dick Enberg with Chris Everett at center court, three-time champion Chris Everett. We're going to see arguably the two best players here at Wimbledon, Novotna and Hingis later. But let's talk about the long shots. Uh, the two we're about to see, uh, Zverva and Toziad. Well, Natasha Verba, I mean, how many players have beaten back-to-back -back Steffi Groff and Monica Seles in the same tournament? Now, I think only one player was Nina Garrison, but this would be an interesting match. I don't know who to pick, by the way, because it's a toss-up. I mean, they're both very smart. They're both very crafty. They're both very experienced grass court players, and this is just a big moment for both players. Neither of them have reached a final, so they sense the importance of this moment for them. So it could be mental and emotional more than right. physical. It'll come down to who handles the pressure and who handles the situation a little bit better. And, you know, they both have, are, are pretty strong in that sense. So it'll be interesting to watch. All right, here we go. Jeremy Shales in the chair. And the oldest woman left in the last four. Natalie Toziat, age 30. Serves to open this semifinal. Ball. Well, it's a heavy moment, semifinals of Wimbledon, and Tosia double faults to start things. She's the oldest one in this tournament, but boy. Billie Jean King played Wimbledon when she was 40 years old, so old by today's standards. They've kicked out the kids, these two. They've both played some great tennis, but it's also the luck of the draw is why they're here today in the semifinals, because I really feel that top half have has the three toughest players on form. When you look at Hingis, you look at Venus Williams, Jan Novotna, they've done the best this year. Oh, that's Verba again. Everything she's done the last two weeks has been outstanding, and she just places this neatly in the corner. 
concentration has been the key word for her. She's never looked mentally as tough as she has in this championship. Oh. Lowest seed ever to win Wimbledon, the eighth seed back in 1962, Karen Hans Sussman. One of these women will get a chance to be the biggest underdog ever. Ooh, what a skitter at love. Zvereva breaks Tozia to take the early lead. Something. Zvereva out there uh, satelliting. <laughs> she doesn't even have a coach. She is uh, probably <laughs> as free a spirit as there is in the entire women's game. It's her 43rd Grand Slam event, and here are her numbers. She did make it to the finals in Paris 10 years ago and humiliated by Groff. Six love, six love. Her best Wimbledon three times to the quarters. This her best effort ever here at the All England Club. And Why no coach? I think because she really hasn't wanted to give the commitment to her singles. I mean, you know, and she's been so great in doubles. I mean, we, we, we talk about her singles, and she's never really lived up to her potential. And I think that that loss at the French Open when she lost love and love against Groff, I mean, she's never been the same player. She is number five in the world at that point in singles. And a fragile uh, 17 years of age. Serves one love. Also, when she was playing doubles, she, I mean, she won 18 Grand Slam doubles titles. I mean, she always felt like even if she didn't do well in the singles, she had that to fall back on. So it was sort of a crutch for her in a sense. Meanwhile, all the other players kept saying, gosh, she has so much talent. If she'd ever get it together, she's dangerous. Six straight points for Zvereva. Well, you can understand the nerves here with Natalie Tozia. I mean, She's never been to the semifinals of a Grand Slam tournament. Had a big win over Lindsay Davenport, and she senses that she really, on paper, should be winning this match. Oh. And when you're nervous, Dick, I mean, your feet don't move, you feel sluggish. I mean, she's probably shaking in her boots right now. And sometimes it takes two or three games just to get used to, to everything, center court. And finally, Tosiad on the board, 40-15. And I can really sense she's nervous because she's in the backcourt. I mean, this is, yes, she has nice ground strokes, but she wants to be at the, up at the net to put away the volley. I mean, that's where she's at her best. So I think we're going to be seeing a, a little more scurrying to the net the next few games. Yeah, I mean, that's where she wants to be, up at the net. This, this match will be won, I think, with whoever volleys better. Obviously, I said at the beginning, whoever handles the nerves better. Big backhands there to take it to 40-30. After losing the first seven points of the match, she comes back to deuce. Tough to know where to hit the approach shot with both these players because they're equally as strong on the backhand side as well as the forehand side. Probably have to place it a little bit better. Good serve from Sverba. She's sneaky. She's so loose in all of her shot making, including her serve. She gets a lot more pop to that serve than you might expect. Good wrist snap at the top. Loose hands. Oh! And Zverava holds. It leads too low. 
Fact of the Minute scores and statistics, visit the official Wimbledon website, www.wimbledon.org and IBM eBusiness. Both these players have good all-around versatile games, and you know, Dick, it, it takes years and years to cultivate that sort of well-roundedness. I mean, these young, hot players now, I mean, they're, they have one great thing, and, and I, they are one-dimensional still, with the exception of Martina Hingis, who can do a little bit of everything. But that was what uh, Venus Williams showed us this Wimbledon. Yes, she has power, but just not the instinct at the net. Kosyat has just four singles titles in her long career, 14 doubles. And uh, interestingly, each woman in her 43rd Grand Slam event. Neither to win a Grand Slam title, one will get the chance with victory today. think it's easier pressure it was easier for them to go out and play a big name you know like a Lindsay Davenport or a Monica Sells because there's no pressure now this is where the pressure is when you're playing someone who is at your level and they're neither of them are big names Well, this is what is considered a natural volley, or you're, she just has an instinct where to go. She's at the right place at the right time. It's almost like your brain doesn't tell you where to go. Your body just goes there. 30-15. Good serve. Tosiad with her first game, it's 2-1. Lobster's on deck. Incoming. Fall back, fall back. Flip, Rod, flip. Drop and give me 10. One, two. 40-30. I can't hear you! 40-30! Can you get insurance if you're already dead? When the National Geographic transported the 500-year-old mummy from Peru, they called the Hartford. We used our risk financing, property insurance, and bonding to make sure not a soul was disappointed. with a chip that's over twice as fast. Send your packages in two days with FedEx to lots of different places. You get lots of different prices. Send your packages in two days with UPS to lots of different places. You get lots of different prices. Send your packages in two to three days with priority mail to lots of different places. You get the same price. You know, $3. So, what's your priority? Priority mail from the U.S. Postal Service. 
celebrate the 4th of July with the WNBA on NBC. Phoenix and Jennifer Gillum face Charlotte and Andrea Stinson. Saturday at 1 Eastern on NBC. Daughter of a Frenchman who sells bathroom fixtures. She was actually born in Africa and uh, moved to France at the age of eight. A very respectable Grand Slam record. Well, I mean, her best results have been at Wimbledon, so she's sort of given us a hint that she does play well on the grass court. Zverova to serve 2-1. wild swing on that forehand side. That side will go. She's a little bit tight under pressure. That's the side to, to keep hitting to. Hey, I'm Natasha Zverova. Again, only three singles titles in uh, her career, pro career of 11 years, but 70, 70 doubles titles, and that's where she's made her living. And of the 70, 20 have been Grand Slam. Used to playing at the net with that doubles experience. Current rank is 22nd. She's been as high as uh, five. Look at that uh, singles just kind of it's just the opposite of most uh, players on the circuit. They go to win the singles and now nah, if you lose, you easier, play doubles. Though. It's <laughs> mentally easier to play doubles. I mean, you have a partner, you know, you have somebody on your side the whole time to talk to you, to console you, to comfort you. Believe me, singles is mentally a lot harder. <laughs> Big partnership with Gigi Fernandez. I think 16 out of those 18 Grand Slams she won with Gigi. And that had to take a lot of mental energy, too, because she was a bit of a head case herself. They were a pair. Another, you know, player with tremendous natural ability, but boy, really tough on themselves. In fact, she's the defending Wimbledon doubles champion with Gigi Fernandez, now retired, and so uh, Zverova. Well, what does that say? A I new mean, partner. Gigi retires last year, and now she's playing great in singles. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult to Gigi, but she certainly... Uh, has a lot of energy now for this tournament. Second double fault from Tosia. now the partner of Lindsay Davenport in the doubles and they're still very much a part of the Wimbledon championship through the early rounds into the quarters and another uh, nervous service game for Tosia three break points for Zverova to go up 4-1. And the air at the net. So at love, Tosia broken. Zverva up a double break. 4 1. Nick, there is still one missile left. You must get to it before the others do. It's a 200 horsepower engine, too audacious to be kept secret. It's advanced climate control, engineered to keep you cool no matter what kind of pressure you're under. Son's birthday. It's the TL from Acura. The true definition of luxury. Yours. Step into a clean shower every day without cleaning your shower again. Try new Tilex Fresh Shower. After your shower, spray a light mist. Don't scrub or rinse. Try new Tilex Fresh Shower, and you'll never have to clean your shower again. Na -na 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 -na. 
They're trying to be the best, smartest, healthiest, most complete selves they can be. To which we say, good for you. Like no other juice drink can. Live long and healthy. Ocean Spray. South Florida, a true story. A man was out walking one day when he discovered a bag filled with jewelry. When no one claimed it, he ended up with over a million dollars. When it comes to retirement, you can depend on luck or you can depend on us. Sun America. Ask about our personal retirement portfolios and don't leave your future to chance. Sun America, the retirement specialist. My dentist told me about this new gum. It's in the toothpaste style. Uh, this gum cleans, whitens, freshens. Toothpaste style. Toothpaste, toothpaste style. style. New Arm & Hammer Dental Care Gum with baking soda reduces unsightly plaque up to 25%. Dental Care Gum. Toothpaste style. It's been the year of the home run in baseball. With Mark McGuire and Ken Griffey Jr. leading the way, what will happen when the All-Star Game comes to Colorado and home run happy Coors Field, baseball's top launching pad? Major League Baseball's All-Star Game, Tuesday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on NBC. So Zverva with a two-break lead, 4-1. So you see the variety that Natasha has. I mean, she had the first shot, a big toss and backhand. The second one was the slice and it just mixes you up and it throws you off your rhythm if you're on the other side of the net. Doesn't overhit, does she? No, but she has power. As we've seen in her serve, she can like that serve right there, especially against Steffi Groff. I mean, she probably won the match by her hard first serves. But she likes to toy with you. She doesn't like to overpower you. She can be humiliating. And all four of these players left in the semifinals, I think one of the reasons why they have such all-around games is because they do play a lot of doubles. Players like Monica Sellis and Steffi Groff don't like to play the doubles, but I think it would improve their volleys. Two points for a 5-1 lead for Sparova. Eight to two in winners over Tosia, and only one unforced error to eight committed by her French opponent. are very close in ability, but it's who's handling the occasion better. And guess what? It's Natasha Zverev. I mean, if this was a second round match, you'd be seeing a different Natalie Tosia out there, but she's a little intimidated by the occasion right now. Pretty shot. Shows her good hands. She has power, but she also has touch. That was not an easy ball to hit. Bounced right at her shoes. She needs to get into the net a little bit more than she has been. Ace. She sliced it wide for her first ace. And another game point to 5-1. Surprisingly high level tennis authored by Natasha Zverova continues. 5 1 up, a double break, and Toziat struggling to stay in this opening set. I, th I think what's so incredible to me, because I, I mean, I played when Zverev, I played against her four or five times in my career, and 
she used to be wearing her emotions on her sleeve the whole time. I can't believe how poker face she's been during this whole tournament. Yeah, they were. It's like she could do no wrong out there. I mean, she's so confident at this point, and nothing's tight about her game. It's just flowing freely, and everything she tries seems to work. And it has to be the confidence of beating Steffi Graf and Monica Sells. So you have to use that for you when you go into your matches. purpose and when you're playing in the zone like this the tennis ball looks like a basketball when it comes to you I mean there's no way that you can miss that ball covering the net again two points from the set is Verba love 30 this ball behind her just way to the last minute and just flicked it cross court what an angle and Natalie she's doing all the right things coming into the net she's hitting some good approach shots but again she's toying with Tozzi like she did with her previous opponent had she won that point just to show how she's dominated Tozzi serve she would have broken Tozzi three times at love Everything working for Natasha Zvereva. Commanding 6-1, opening set. Do I have to say kill with me? Yeah. You don't know, Mom. The last time you fell into a manhole, it was almost on TV. A manhole? Your kids have a million reasons not to do what you want them to, but not with Sunny Delight. Kids love that Sunny D taste. You love the vitamins. Let's go. Come on, Shorty. Miss the Shorty to you. Reach for the good stuff. Reach for the sun. Sunny delight. Because there is a man in Chicago planning his retirement this year. Because there is a family in Boston who hopes to send their kids to college someday. Because there is a doctor in New York looking forward to the day she will open her own clinic. Because the dreams of every investor continue to change in a complex world, so too have we. Which is why at Morgan Stanley Dean Witter, we measure success one investor at a time. At Wimbledon, the pursuit of excellence is constant. The stadium and the court. Tradition is evident in the details. So too in the fashion world. No detail is overlooked. The Wimbledon Collection by Racquet Club. Available in the finest stores in America. The other day, Karen had to hurry to a surprise birthday party. Honey, the doctor's on her way. Almost there. So Karen didn't need any surprises from her car. Just breathe easy. Just breathe easy. Ford Taurus has millions of real-life miles behind it. A reliable DoorTech engine in it. The doctor's here. The doctor's here. I hear someone's in a hurry. And I know two people. Make that three people. They were sure glad that she bought this car. Ford Taurus. Built to last. NBC's coverage of Wimbledon continues tomorrow at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific with Pete Sampras in the Gentlemen's Semifinals. Plus, nightly updates at 11.35 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. All concluding with Breakfast at Wimbledon. Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. The Championships, Wimbledon on NBC. She's still in the zone, and what a positive performance again from Zvereva. Here's some examples of the first set. Well, her great doubles record is coming into effect here because she's all over the net. She's instinctive. She has good balance when she's at the net. 
and she looks so confident. Anywhere on the court you place her, she looks confident. Well, unless Tosiat can come up with something to shake her out of this uh, incredible run, it looks as if uh, Zverova has her place reserved on Saturday in the finals. But uh, Tosiat has done nothing to unnerve Zverova to this point. If there's anything about Zverova that you could immediately pinpoint in her singles game, you just look at unforced errors. You could almost count on her committing a lot. But how about that first set? Impeccable for her. One unforced error. No, it couldn't happen. They're going to have the towels out and wonder <laughs> if she has a fever again today. Well, you know, the women in the locker room were kidding her, like she said in her interview after that match against Steffi Groff, but now nobody's even going near her in the locker room <laughs> because she is so intense and you know now it's feasible that she could win not only reach the final but she could win this tournament so the women don't want to make too much fun of her first double fault you know, she's human and then says well how about this second ace boy that serve's been a difference with this whole tournament with her I mean she always had the placement before but now she's got the power and she's serving that big flat one really well 100 miles an hour, that ace. Just so frustrating for Tozzi. I mean, she's had, having the tournament of her life. And to get out here and not only play a really revved up Zverova, but her game is flat right now, and she's, she's searching for what to do. She, I think she has to keep coming in and putting the pressure. I mean, she's not going to win from the baseline. Zverova, though, big serve again. Owns the set. One love in the second. From the moment you draw your first breath, you are different. Unique in look and personality. Footprints and DNA. And no one understands that more than the men and women of Fidelity who work with 12 million investors, no two of whom are alike. How you work with us is your choice. Because it's your money. And helping you make the most of it is what makes Fidelity different. Fidelity Investments presents Great Wimbledon Moments. 1990, Martina Navratilova and Zena Garrison in the women's final. Match point, Garrison serving. Nebratilova, as she did so many times at Wimbledon, attacking relentlessly. The Garrison backhand long, and with that, Nebratilova captures her record ninth Wimbledon, pushing her past Helen Wells Moody as the winningest singles player in Wimbledon history. She would remember it as the last of her cherished 18 Grand Slam singles titles. And uh, if you took a vote here in England as the greatest champion of Wimbledon, Navratilova. Guess it wouldn't be me. <laughs> would be the winner. You, you get some votes. You get some votes. You're convincing oh, me now that you're, you're doing a little more PR for yourself. I like that. How about the, the, the greatest player never to approach the net to win Wimbledon? Would I get that there you one? Go. That's right. From Florida with a two-handed backhand. Whose father went to Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> and told her to stay back full time. It's all dad's fault, huh? <laughs> Meanwhile. 76% for serves reserve. Wouldn't be good enough to play with today's generation. You've got to have it all now, plus be a, a wonderful athlete at the same time. Well, Tosiot needs to get something in gear here. Yeah. It'd be nice just to get on the scoreboard for her, you know, just, just to get a game and, and challenge Natasha is just to say, hey, I'm in this match. I haven't given up. You, you haven't won this yet. Francoise Dour, the great French player of 60s and 70s. She made it to the semis 28 years ago, last French woman prior to today. Most unorthodox strokes I've ever seen in my life are played against. She was a character. Even her strengths aren't working at this point. Dora, uh, she's 
was one of those that came up with those incredible grips that we see more often, especially on the clay surface. Natasha in a point. That was the longest point they ever had. This was between games door looking across. Move those legs, fight. You know, uh, that's the first spirit. thing that goes to, you know, she's frozen out there and she's not moving her feet. And the moment is a bit overwhelming, I'm afraid, for her. I mean, that's the way it looks here. She yeah. just wants to scream. She just needs to scream and just get all her frustrations out. Yeah, she's much more emotional than she's showing to this point. And another break chance is Veraba to go to love in the second. And that's serving the bottom of the net. Three of four already is Veraba. Natasha hit a lot of balls. Well executed point for Toziad. But there were several times during that rally it appeared that uh, Zvereba was out of the point, just keeps getting it back. Why oh, is she playing well? She anticipates well. You know, it's not she's she's a good mover. She's not a great mover, but boy, she just knows where to where to be at the right time. Toziat broken three times in the opening set. Just keep applying that pressure and coming in because that's that's the one game she knows how to play. She doesn't want to get into any baseline rallies really with Natasha at this point. Well, this is a clean slate right now. I mean, the first set, okay, it's, it's over and done with 6-1. Forget about it. But one all, they're even Steven in the second set. I, mean, I think you're going to see a better Natalie in this set. Certainly a more pumped up Natalie. And, and important for Natasha not to let down. I mean, she doesn't. Natalie can only get better, and Natasha can only get worse at this point. So just keep that high level up. And those are the shots she, she used so well against Lindsay Davenport, just exposing the lack of mobility on grass anyway with Lindsay. It's awfully tough. Lindsay's so tall. It's awfully tough for those tall players to, to be moving quickly on the grass. You have to always be bending your knees. Even Venus found it a little more difficult. Well, American fans yesterday were hoping it would be Sellis and Davenport that would win, get into one semi. Venus would win and would play Ingus in the other semi, and it was a rough day for the U.S. players. All lost, and Tosiat with another scream, trying to work out some of those emotions. 15 all at one all in the second. 
I mean, she, her legs aren't getting to the ball. It's not that she's hitting the ball wrong. It's just she's not moving. She's frozen in her mobility, and that's nerves. That's all part of being in the semifinals of Wimbledon your first time and really feeling that you've got a shot to make the finals. But that's what she needs to do, especially on Natasha's second serve. When Natasha's second serve runs a little bit short, she needs to jump on top of that right away and dictate the point from the beginning. off on that first serve at 15.30. Ooh, bad luck there. She's starting to play better, though. It'd be great to see her make a match of this. I mean, I like that movement. She was moving quick as a cat, and that ball was skimming, just didn't quite go over the net, but it was skimming the tape there. Both players, because they're, they're so comfortable at the net, they move in so beautifully, but they're very vulnerable to the lobbing. That's a great play right there. Look how close Natasha is. She's like within like two feet of the net. I mean, there's only one shot there that she had to pick. And also, Natasha to lob over Natalie. That's a good play. So the first break point for Toziat. And she converts. So Natalie Toziat finally sees the bigger number on her side of the board. 2-1 in the second. Must see TV tonight. It's the infamous Friends Game Show. We win. We get your apartment. Deal! What was Monica's nickname when she was a field hockey goalie? Big fat goalie. Correct. And the famous chess shooting with Frazier's Bulldog. I know what makes you tick, Dennis Finch. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's new to you. NBC tonight. What's new, what's new from the new dash? What's new is that for a very limited time, we're offering zero down and zero payments for six months on every new Dodge. What's new, what's new? Or choose exceptionally low 1.9 financing on select vehicles, which can also save you money. What's new, what's new? For select customers can get up to $2,000 cash back on select vehicles. What's new, what's new? But hurry in by July 6th. From the new Dodge. It's a beautiful morning. Ah. Bounce gives clothes, linens, and towels a freshness you can't help but notice. Whether it's bounce outdoor fresh or gentle breeze, adding a little bounce to your morning puts a little bounce in your step. And because bounce has time released freshness, you can count on fresh days day after day. So put a little bounce in your morning and have a beautiful morning. The best players in women's tennis are coming to town for the Toshiba Tennis Classic, August 1st through the 9th. Venus Williams, Steffi Graf, Monica Seles, Anna Kornikova, Lindsay Davenport, and the number one player in women's tennis, Martina Hingis. The 1998 Toshiba Tennis Classic. Call 760-438-5683 for ticket information. NBC 739, again awarded more Emmys than any other station in town. So serving with the lead in the second set, 2-1, Toziad. Her best play has been on grass. You can see 8-1 and one this year. She played at Birmingham, made it to the semis. And uh, she has four titles in her career, two on grass, Eastbourne in 95 and Birmingham. So most of her success has been on the grass or indoor, you know, on fast surfaces. Very rarely has she done that well on a clay court. On the other hand, uh, Zvereva in the preview to Wimbledon, the grass event that precedes this one at Eastbourne showed that uh, she was getting ready. She beat Venus Williams 6-2, 6-1, went to the semis, lost to Novotna. Novotna then won it 
and uh, she's in the other semifinals. So Eastbourne, a so good indicator of what we were going to see. We should consider her a grass court player now, I guess. I mean, she's beating Williams, Sellis, Groff. Could reach the finals here, could win this tournament. Boy, what a solid volley. That was a good test from Tosiat's end, but Zverba down there to pick off the winner. She's just so agile. I mean, that's the one word that I can think of to describe her. She can adapt to any type of shot. Tosia, however, the first turn that Steffi Groff came back and played Birmingham, Tosia was up three love in that semifinal match, and that got called for rain. They just totally canceled the tournament in the semifinals, but it looked like she was going to do some dam damage against Steffi. Oh. You know, two break points for Zverova to break back, draw yep. even a two all. And that ball was a little bit too high. It was around her shoulder area, and you, you would think that she would choose to slice that ball. You want to hit those top spins when they're around waist level. keeping it totally under control these days. It's to all. Log on to msnbcsports.com as Bud Collins previews tomorrow's men's semifinals, plus get analysis from Chris Everett and access live scoring. It's all at msnbcsports.com. Oh. Well, that has to uh, dishearten Toziat. She finally breaks to take the lead and only to be broken at 15.40. And Zverova back in uh, command. One of the highlights of Natalie Tosia's career also was winning the Fed Cup last year in 97. The French team beat the Netherlands in the finals. Yannick Noah was the coach then. Very patriotic. Young woman plays Fed Cup every year. Mary Pierce also played on that team. You can't get a better approach shot than that. I mean, that was <laughs> so deep volley. <laughs> and so low. But Natasha found a way to to win that point. <laughs> Incredible the way she's playing. Again, at 5'5", five, five, Tozia, one of the shortest women on the tour. It's a good play to lob her. And a good answer from Tozia at 10, 40-15. Not an easy backhand. She had to get down on a skidding ball. And hit a topspin at that, not even a slice reply. Two points for 3-2. Up the set. The audience doesn't seem to be <laughs> riveted by this match. I, I, I don't think they know who to root for. They, they're probably not as, like we are, are not as familiar. Just, you know, when you get a Steffi Groff or you get a Monica Sells, you know, a player that's been out there a million times with a lot of history, the fans really feel like they know the players. These are new players on center court. Zverevac, 3-2 in the second after a 6-1 opening set.
Flight 57, now boarding. Hey, Junior, we don't want to miss our curtain. I hope you've got Hertz number one club gold. Well, not exactly, but this company's fast. Oh, sure. Can't we skip the rental counter like it hurts? Well, not exactly. Duh. Hey, genius, I'm waterlogged. Doesn't your company have a canopy like Hertz? Well, not exactly. Remember, there's Hertz and there's not exactly. Choose the right one. So you still think I'm the dummy? Not exactly. <laughs> Ship your package in two days with FedEx. And you'll run into seven different price zones. Ship your package in two days with UPS. And you'll run into seven different price zones. Ship your package in two to three days with Priority Mail. And there's just one price zone. So, what's your priority? Priority Mail from the U.S. Postal Service. Is an arthritis cure around the corner? Will Penang be the next Silicon Valley? Who got a patent today? One thing's for sure, opportunities abound. And every day we go after them in high-speed pursuit. Got your seatbelt on? Let's get to work. Solomon Smith Barney. You heard about the high endurance deodorant challenge from Old Spice? It's great at stopping odor. But what if you gotta stop sweat? Well, now high endurance makes a powerful new antiperspirant. A white solid that goes on clear. See? No white flakes. So you can stay dry without the white mess you get from some other antiperspirant. Guaranteed. Or call 1 800 Prove It and Old Spice will buy you a stick of yours. So take the challenge. Because this is more than just an antiperspirant, this is the high endurance of antiperspirants. Welcome back to Center Court, Wimbledon. A look at the updated match statistics. And down at Winters Unforced, plus 13, Zvereva, minus 8, Toziad. But that 39% first serve percentage is what catches my eye because she's a natural serve and volleyer. If you take away her strength, if she's not getting that percentage up to around 60, 65, she has no chance at all to win this match. And Zvereva at 65%, leading 6-1, 3-2. Martina Hingis, Jana Novotna, repeat of last year's final in the second semi. Tosia, her best ranking last year in 97 was number 11. She came into this year, though after January, she hit the top 10 for the first time. Earned three million dollars last year. That's pretty good for not being in the top ten. Earned three million dollars. Shows how much prize money is in women's tennis. Just still trying to find her form though in this match. Continuing to miss that first serve. That percentage is going down even lower now. deceptive. I think Natasha thought she was going to come in on an approach shot the last minute. She just cuts that stroke short and carves underneath the ball. Natural shot for her. To left. First serve. Guessing right, keeps the point alive and gets the winner, 40 15. Two more points for three all. Toziat. Ah! 
just feels so comfortable at the net, Natasha Zverev. I mean, to beat her, it's, it's really going to take a player that hits excellent passing shots. I don't think Tozia is in that category right now. Certainly not today in this match. wasn't over there and that just the sense that when you're stretching that wide there's no way you can hook it cross court for a winner you have to look for that down the line and she was pretty much in the middle of the court waiting for that playing as if uh, she wants to be the champion never played this well before in singles admits that best win of her career came in dismissing Groff. And then she repeats against Ellis and now again today. Questioning a call. One of those baseline. A uh, little bit different reaction than Venus Williams yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Three all for Tosiad, and now the longest game of the match. Whoever's the most aggressive one, whoever d dictates the points, usually ends up winning it. Tosiad, she has to take advantage of all those midcourt balls. touch like that looking at any of the women in the draw that those are beautiful touch shots forty one percent now first serves for Toziat just out Marcus Ellis was quoted as saying that Verva has the best hands in the game and I don't know if Jan Nivana would agree with that because Jan has some pretty good hands herself, but soft hands. She doesn't muscle that stroke. She just holds the racket lightly. Well, how true that is in so many sports. Golf, you know. I think McEnroe was, uh, was really the master of soft hands, boy. Ooh. Catch Thought the line. Was, yeah. Yes. Kosiak, a struggle, three deuce game but holds for three all active players most match wins Graf, Sukova, Sanchez Vicario, Novotna, Martinez, Toziat. So she's been around age 30 and those are complimentary remarks for her. But never this far in a grand slam event. Real. I'm sure these players coming into the tournament saw a potential opportunity for them because if you look at that that half of the draw, you had a Steffi Groff who some people were picking to win this tournament, but you I mean it was asking for too much. She was rusty, she was really tight in her matches. 
And then Lindsay Davenport, Monica Sellis, and these players are very vulnerable on the grass. They don't like it. It's not their best surface. In some ways, uh, the seating committee here at Wimbledon, and even today there were comments in the press, no botanist should should have been seated second based on performance. And not Davenport. And that would have given her the opportunity to get to the finals to meet Hingis, not the semifinals. But no botanist was seated third. And so true to their seating, they meet one and three later this afternoon. Well, that's, you know, the luck of the draw. We, we say that, but it's, it's so true with these Grand Slam tournaments. Plus the fact you only pl there are only three grass court tournaments a year for the women. And most of the top players, say like a Venus Williams, and, you know, their, their games are suited to more of a hard court or a clay court. They do a lot of switching around the men's side, though, don't they? Because mm -hmm. most of the top players in the world are clay court specialists. Another stabbing save at the net from Zverova and uh, has Tozia talking to herself. <laughs> she made Fair. a good shot. It's just so instinctive, though, isn't she? And she was over to cover in case that ball had been in play. 30 all. players in the top as far as the last few years just really knowing the grass and knowing what shots and knowing this nice soft touch angles to hit so basically a power game and it amused me when Venus Williams informed the whole world that she was going to serve volley at Wimbledon it was like well, what all of a sudden you're a baseline you're going to serve volley doesn't it take years to acquire a game like that break point and Tosiak converts takes the lead 4-3 Introducing the most luxuriously appointed Acura ever made. Well, there's the British hero, 23-year-old Tim Henman, uh, signing autographs. Look at those youngsters trying to get a touch of uh, Britain's number one as he goes off to Orangi Park to tune up. He'll be meeting Pete Sampras, the defending champion, in the men's semifinals tomorrow. And, of course, we'll have five hours of coverage here from Wimbledon. As we return to center court. Natalie Tosia picking up her play here in the second set. Another break of Natasha Zvereva. So Tosia now in the lead, 4-3. Zvereva won the first set, 6-1. Still ahead in the winner's department, though. 12 winners. <laughs> Questioning look at the lines person. Tosia at her best. I mean, this is the way we saw her beat Lindsay Davenport yesterday. She's finally settled down and maybe not thinking about the fact that if she wins this, she'll be in the finals of Wimbledon. Just playing the ball instead of the occasion. Both players at the net an awful lot. Tosia winning has a better percentage. So she wants to keep trying to get up there, take every mid-court ball, watch out for every opportunity because Natasha's winning from the backcourt. Big game to hold. She broke Zverova earlier only to be broken back. Now she has the lead. And if she can maintain her serve, we'll move up 5-3, trying to push it to the third set.
unlike men's tennis, it's great to have a big, a big serve. But boy, if you get broken, you always know you have a chance if you're a woman to break back. And that is her fourth double fault. Opened the match with a double and struggled uh, terribly in that opening set, losing 6-1. Now 30 all at 4-3 in the second. It's put a couple of big serves in this game. A couple of flat ones. Get her out of trouble. She was tentative on that back end. It's almost like she hesitated knowing that it was going to hit the net. Just watching the ball instead of just playing it. Oh, she paints both lines. Variety in that backhand, boy, she belts those two-handed backhands. She can approach, slice approach when she wants to come into the net. Just a lot of variety on that one side. Didn't quite hit the sideline, but the baseline. Natalie Tosia. Well, she predicted this down the line back end. This is what she did the point before, so it's becoming a bit of a pattern. Natasha's got to start maybe mixing up, mixing up her passing shots a little bit more. Ooh, and there she did. She went for the cross court. Didn't make it. Now a point for 5-3. long as it then since France could cheer a Wimbledon champion one of their own we started searching back and we had to turn a few pages 1925 Suzanne Longland last Wimbledon champion representing France. Well, they grow up on the red clay too. They're primarily clay court players really not their games aren't really suited for the grass this Natalie is an exception to the rule. Beautiful passing shot. Nice deep approach shot. Finally, that backhand connected. She's been missing some of those topspin backhands. Tosi has met her match when it comes to volleys. <laughs> she's been playing primarily baseliners to reach the semifinals, but now she's playing someone who, who does know how to volley and has that instinct up there. And you saw those sweet, soft hands of Zvereva at the net again. Fourth deuce of this long game at 4-3, Toziat. Oh. Making so many points from down the line. 
passing shots. That's the higher part of the net. It's the most difficult, but she had enough topspin on it, jumped over the net about two feet, cleared the air there. Another break point, Zverba, to get back even in this second set. And an ace, yes, first of the match for Tozia to erase the second breaker of the game. First sign of emotion we've seen on Natasha Zverba. Another point for 5-3 Toziat. Marathon game. Digs out of two break points and holds at 5-3. At a tournament steeped in tradition, the Rolex clock has grace center court for 21 years. And it shows one hour, two minutes. This match now has been played. Boy, Tosia looked like a club player out there that first set. She was lost that set 6-1, and then she just brushed aside her nerves, and now she looks like she belongs out there. Came away from a decisive third set. Boy, Sparava has offered some biting low slice backhand. The ball just not bouncing at all for Tozia. And the court's just gripping it. And it's really both players I've seen so many slice backhands in this match. Both players employing it to drop volley. And to hit a running drop volley, that's not so easy. Did that's it casually, though, didn't Boy, you? you have to have that touch. Tosiat playing this game as if she knows that if she can hold serve one more time, she has the set. 40 love. But that's not the way you should be thinking out there. <laughs> Especially, you know, women's tennis when you have a serve like Natasha, who's not going to serve you off the court. But she holds it love. Tosiat serves for a decisive third set when we come back. Something big her soft touch at the net. Well, this has been the effective weapon. This match, the, I mean, the drop shot, she used it against Lindsay Davenport, but Lindsay isn't that fast. But to show that's really working, she's using it against Natasha, who's very quick around the court. Three service winners, three forehand, six backhand, and six at the net. New balls at 5-4, serving for a third set. Biggest service game in her career thus far at 30 years old. Oh, that was really a good deep volley. Just moves in so well. This shot was a little bit too deep, plus it skidded in the at the backcourt. This 
is the second or third time that Natalie hasn't been there, hasn't really anticipated that shot. But she's stretching so wide, there's no other shot really. She's even hitting it behind her. No other place she can go but down the line. And then she comes up with some pretty big serves. This is a big pressure game for her. Made three good volleys, just as Verva made a very uh, outstanding recovery to hit that winner down the line, 30-15. Two points from the third set. an unforced error. She wants to really tighten up her game at this point. Well, that was a pressure volley. It was a sitter. She had a great serve accurately down the tee, down the middle of the court. She had Natasha on the defensive, and she had either side she could go to, but just got a little bit tentative on that volley. So it's Verba, break point for five all. in that last game breaks to five all and one wonders now the uh, mental and emotional state of the 30 year old French woman as she sat just two points from a third set and now will have to battle at five all in the second down a set with her experience she's already forgotten about it You sense a little more hop in the step of Natasha Zvereva. <laughs> she knows that that was a big opportunity that Tozia had, and, and she squandered it. where Natasha has really changed in her thinking because whenever you got close to her before, if you could just meet, get a four-all or a five-all situation with her, you always knew that somehow she'd lose her mind or she would just surrender to the pressure. But she hasn't shown us that this tournament. That one kicks wide off the net cord, 30-all. Josiah continuing to, to be the aggressor. It's the only chance she has to win this match. Oh. Wild forehand, big swing. Didn't come over the ball enough. Both players playing the last two games a little tight. serve to stay in the match when we return to Wimbledon. Ashes Verava 
six one the opening set leading six five here as Tosiat must hold here to force a second set tie break. Natasha wanting, wanting to get into that net fast, but that approach shot, that return of serve was not deep enough. Unseated Natasha Zvereva trying to become the fifth ever unseated to go to the Wimbledon finals. Oh! And the first since Billie Jean Moffat as she was then from Long Beach, California in 1963 unseated. To the finals. It's a rare accomplishment. We've talked about Anna Kornikova, the other Russian player, so much the last two years. We've totally overlooked Natasha. But she's a she's a seasoned veteran. She has a lot of Grand Slam doubles titles under her belt. Never been an unseated Wimbledon champion on the women's side. Wide. And it wasn't until Boris Becker, as a 17 year old in 1985, won as an unseated player that uh, Wimbledon could say that had ever happened. He's well, I doubt that's going to happen in the women's. When I look at that other oh. side of the draw and I see Nevada and Ingus, whoever wins that side, boy, they'd have to be a heavy favorite to win this tournament. from a tiebreaker in the second set. Rushing this game, trying to get to the net at any cost. Two or three games ago, she was hitting winners from that shot, but pressure a little bit different now. Break. Tosia is very much into this match. She's jumped up about five levels from that first set. Not much to separate them in their career or Wimbledon tiebreak records. 4 3 3 4 is a, a, a bit more successful here on the lawns. And holds the first point. A lot of free points throughout the championship. Did against Graf, also versus Sellis, and now against Tosiat. They're Sneaky. Not, they're, well, they're not returning her serve very well. I mean, even Graf said that was the one part of her game that failed her. And Monica Sellis said the same thing. I didn't put away her second serves like I should have. Mind you, she's serving very well. When you get to a tiebreaker, it's a totally a mental game. It's every point you have to view as match point. You have to isolate each one. If you lose the point, forget it. Go on to the next one. It's not necessarily about ability in, the, in a tiebreaker. Sometimes luck helps. 
she was getting all those net courts when she played Groff. I remember watching that and thinking, boy, she's playing great, but she's also a little bit lucky. And here, boy, when you get a net court against her, you don't want to get in a tiebreaker either. A modest apology and happy that she has a 2-1 score on the board. No breaks yet. runs now from Natasha Zvereva. It shows me the effort she's putting into these shots. Maybe a little bit tired at this point. Some big forehands from her opponent. That one hit deep and hard in the corner. Josie definitely looks the fresher player of the two at this point. Zerva drops both her service points and a 4-1 lead Tosia. Finally starting to look a little human out there <laughs> after this whole tournament. After that first set. with a 5-1 lead, two points from a decisive third. A little bit of a letdown for Natasha, or a little weariness, I'm not quite sure which one. of play for Zvereva in four matches. Not the right time either in a tiebreaker, but thank heavens for her, she won the first set, so the worst that could happen is they go into a third. Yeah! <laughs> Very vocal. So a third and decisive set for the Wimbledon finals. First time Zvereva's been on a losing side of a set in this entire championship. No wonder Natalie Tosia celebrates. No Sunday. And by Pepsi, who invites you to join Generation Next. Looking down on court one, and in the <laughs> upper part of your picture, center court. As we go to the third and final set, Toziat, look at her record, 14 and three. That's her second ace after a very slow start against Vereva, whose three set record, seven and five. But Toziat showing that uh, she can close the deal and begin serving in that manner. Well, she's been a, a different player, really, not only this tournament, but for the last two years. She she reached the top 10 in January of this year, and she just has a different attitude about the game. It's like now or never, I'm 30 years old, I'm at the twilight of my career, I might as well go for it. And she has been, and her, her results speak for themselves. Now, where was that served the first set? Now she's <laughs> not nervous anymore, that's for sure. I think you're going to see a higher level from both players in this third set because this is the crucial the crucial set big opportunities for both players for different reasons but basically to reach the finals of Wimbledon so Tosiad with an easy hold to open the final set 
Jones, 66. Ann Jones of England, 69. Yvonne Gulagong Cauley in 80. That's the lowest since 62 to win this title. So you don't have much of a chance when they uh, don't seat you one, two, three, or four. That's just the facts of Wimbledon history. But these two women trying to turn a different page. Big difference in the men's because of the, of the serves. I mean, that's such an equalizer that you can have an upset any day in, in the tournament. Curious here to see how Natasha Zvereva, after uh, seemingly in command of this match, easy first set, 6-1, and uh, even in that second set, it looked as if uh, she might close it out in two. And now, for the first time, having dropped a set in the championships, how will she play now? Well, it is interesting. And in these other matches that when she beat Steffi and she beat Monica, she didn't lose a set to either of those players. She was never really in trouble. I mean, she was always sort of in the lead, and it's a little easier to win when you're leading. But let's see how she handles this. It just looks like the steam's been taken out of her game a little bit. Well, Tosiad really owned the net in that second set after being somewhat reluctant or being beaten to the net by Zvereva in the second set 44 times to the net and 128 points. And she continues here in the third. That forehand's getting bigger. Yeah, that forehand, when, when she's off her game, that forehand will go anywhere. It'll go in the royal box. But when she's on, it has a lot of pace. It's flat, it's hard, and, you know, it's definitely a weapon for her. Second double fault, and with it, two break points, Tosia. You know, the big question I had leading into this match was I, I thought Zvereva had the weapons to win it, but it was basically, can she keep up this momentum? Can she keep it up? And the mental intensity that she's shown us. Tosia, with only two break chances, converted both. Now her third opportunity. Coming in just a little slow. I mean, she hit that ball behind the service line. She needs to, to move in a little bit more for those volleys. Another chance for a two love lead. final set tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern 11 Pacific NBC's coverage of Wimbledon continues the men's semifinals number one Pete Sampras against the British hero number 12 Tim Henman Richard Krychek who won two years ago will battle Goran Ivanisevic in another high powered matchup tomorrow at noon Eastern here on NBC five hours with you tomorrow and then breakfast at Wimbledon the ladies final on Saturday morning 9 Eastern and the men's final Sunday morning Of uh, course, waiting in the second semifinal this afternoon, Martina Hingis and Jana Novotna. Ooh, just waited to the last minute to flick that one. A little contrast in personalities in this third set because Natasha remain, still has that game face, that poker face, but Natalie Tosia, you're going to be hearing a lot of noise on her side of the net. That's the way she gets herself pumped up. She shakes her head. Big difference between 15-15 and love 30. But you know, luck always favors the brave. You do, when you're tentative, you never hit in that court. You know, it's when you go for your shots that you hit them. 
Do you notice that in your game? I don't know about Brave. <laughs> I mean, that's when you pull yourself off the backstop and stop whimpering? That kind of Brave? It's when you go for your shots and you just try to move forward. Meanwhile, Natasha is not moving forward. There's a good return. Dip down at the ankles of Tozia, 30 love. Only, 30 all, rather. It's only apropos that these two players, who nobody ever expected to reach the semifinals, should be going neck to neck right now. Such a tight, close match. Finding herself at the net an awful lot that first set, and, and the score indicated she was won that set 6-1. Then Tosia returned the favor, and she started approaching the net. She that's the way she won the second set. Natasha has to figure out a way to get up there because that's where she's winning the majority of her points. So far in this set, one time to the net for Zvereva, ten times for Tosia. So that goes back to what you said at the very start: that woman to the net controls the net. It's going to win the match. Uh and Natalie Tosiad holds, leads three love. Final set, up just a single break. We got aisles of smiles. And the people who care. A four-star hotel high up in the air. Feet like the fog. Food wet the heat. And you go wet. Your problems go eat. Wouldn't it be great if we could all fly commercials? Well, United is making the real world better with improvements in service seats, even faster gate check-ins. We're not perfect, but we're rising. Last year, Americans spent over two and a half billion dollars on products for their backs. Here's a nice item. <laughs> Why is this market so large? It could be that some people aren't sleeping on the right mattress. We'd recommend a Sealy Posturepedic Sleep System. Its patented coils give your back the correct support it needs. Posturepedic support, only from Sealy. I'm not comfortable with this. The 30-year-old from Bayonne, France, Natalie Toziat, Francoise Dor, who made it to the semifinals here 28 years ago, continuing to pump her support to Coaching. her country woman. <laughs> continuing to coach. <laughs> Love three Zvereva. Well, it took her three games to realize that, yeah, I got to get to the net. Pretty sizzling backhand she handled Great, here. But look at those reflexes. She just stuck her racket out and blocked the ball back. Okay, Dick, it's going to be a race to the net here. If she comes in behind that first serve. Yep. Big question is, is it too late? She's down three love. That's half the set already. Playing a defensive game. She's playing a woman she's broken five times in the match, and she's down just a single break. And this is an inside the baseline. Just block that top spin down the line. Playing with confidence right there. Oh! 
Good deep serve just off the line, 40 15. Taking deep breaths. I think she's just used up so much mental energy this whole tournament, not only this match, but in previous matches. It's mentally easier, I, I feel, when you have a partner and you're playing doubles and you have half the court. New scenario for her. Shot. I mean, you have to be really talented to hit shots like this. I don't know if she's too tired to move in, but I wonder why she's hitting them behind the service line. I mean, it... I mean that takes some talent. Takes some talent, but boy, get into that net a little bit closer if you're gonna. I don't think she can get away with that anymore. Those are picked up the serve. Yeah, she's picked up the speed of her serve and the placement. And that's that's also been a difference. And Natasha, on the other hand, her serve's gone down a little bit. Three aces in this set. to the net by Tosia may have uh, given Severa something to look at. That backhand's on also. I mean, she's definitely in the groove. Good rhythm on that backhand side, winning a lot of points. Maybe Natasha should mix it up a little bit. Ooh. If she can get her serve back, she can mix it up. Big serve, big flat serve. One ace in the first two sets, now four here in the third. Finals of Wimbledon. They're trying to be the best, smartest, healthiest, most complete selves they can be. To which we say, good for you. Like no other juice drink can. Live long and healthy. Ocean Spray. Adamstown, Pennsylvania, a true story. At a flea market, a man bought a frame for $4. When he brought it home, he made a $2 million discovery, an original copy of the Declaration of Independence. When it comes to retirement, you can depend on luck or you can depend on us, Sun America. Ask about our personal retirement portfolios and don't leave your future to chance. Sun America, the retirement specialist. The sellout of 14,000 at Center Court, Wimbledon. Applauds the return of these two semifinalists. Natasha Zvereva, knowing there's no room for error now on her serve. Her opponent needs to only serve out her next two games to be in the finals of Wimbledon. 1-4. Misleading, though. She's only one break down. All she needs to do is just break once and hold serve twice. She's in a tiebreaker. When I was playing Dick, I always preferred to be down a break and have the scoreboard say 3-2 rather than 4-1. It's such a psychological yeah, difference. That is or 5-2 and 4-3, you know, it's... Hmm. Nice playing, to know you feel that way. I think that's, mind uh, games, hackers yeah. feel that way. Oh! Even going home saying, well, I lost 6-4 better than 6-3. <laughs> the same amount of games. So. And this is where Natasha has to start to make things happen. I mean, she's being pinned at the baseline. Important for her to get some big first serves in. Her serve has been so great this tournament. It's let her down this third set.
That's better. But you know, you're down four one in the third. Your arm, t your arm tightens up, and your toss doesn't go as high. And just all about controlling your nerves. a pace on that <laughs> forehand. I liked it. I think it's smart, though, that she hits her forehand. I like to see her keep it away from that backhand side. She's made more winners off that side. semi-final match. Two unheralded players, not highly regarded by the seating committee, not given much of a chance, but one will be in the Wimbledon final on Saturday. Will it be Toziat, the 16th seed, or the unseeded Zvereva? 4-2. And finally, they'll get a day off. I mean, they, because of the rain, they played four days in a row. Mentally, that's very tough. See if Zvereva can come up with some good returns this game. She needs them. But Toziat has certainly elevated her service game in this final set. 65%. Oh, that was a big shot for her. That was a tired shot from her. Because this was not, she was there. I would have, I would have thought she would have just hit a two-handed backhand down the line like normal. Tight second serve, her fifth double fault, 30 all. That elbow does get heavy in <laughs> moments like this. <laughs> the first shot that went with me when I was nervous was that serve, because you have con total control over that shot. It's the only shot you have total control over. This could be a critical second serve at 30 all. should celebrate. Both players not looking for that passing shot down the line and both these players are off the court. I think they instinctively would move over there a little bit. Now a point for 5-2, but another second serve. Ow! It's Ooh. wide and Natasha Zvereva, when we return, serving 2-5 to stay in this semifinal match. From the moment you draw your first breath, you are different. Unique in look and personality. Footprints and DNA. And no one understands that more than the men and women of Fidelity. Who work with 12 million investors. No two of whom are alike. How you work with us is your choice. Because it's your money. And helping you make the most of it is what makes Fidelity different. We should greet each and every day Like a gift that's come our way Share the rich Folgers brew And make someone's day brighter too That aroma mountain grown Pass 
to the criminal mind. I have to go after him. This is the killer. Profiler, NBC Saturday. Back at Wimbledon on this cool gray day, Natasha Zverva, the 27-year-old from Minsk, Belarus, gets a big hand as she returns. She's serving to stay in the match. 2-5. Definitely a woman who has shaped the entire championship with the wins over Groff and Sullis to get here to the semis. It's been a dream tournament for her, and I think the crowd senses this fairy tale could come to an end very shortly, even this game. One of the few women in the entire draw over 30 years of age, Natalie Tozia. <laughs> Solidly executed that point by Zverova from both wings. out the ball she likes and then she'll uh, give uh, it that three bounce and then deliver taking her time I mean, this is a huge game for her oh, just goes to, to the four bounce <laughs> <laughs> well it could be the last game that's why she's really taking her time and just being very thoughtful about what she's going to do she probably she has a plan she's going to be trying to come to the net Tozia chooses this game to play some pretty wild tennis. Tosia is just still the the more fired up player at this point. Natasha looks like the, just she's run out of steam mentally as well as physically. She just doesn't have that hop to her step that she normally has. But she has forced her opponent to serve it out. Five three. Still looks very zen-like though, and she's keeping her composure very well. Talk about the biggest service game of your long career 30 year old <laughs> Natalie Tosia never been in a Grand Slam semifinal and now she serves for the Wimbledon Championships how important is 
is her first serve this game. Well, she can win some free points off her first serve when she's serving well. That second serve is weak, though. It, it falls short, and believe me, Natasha's going to be ready to attack. Good idea because she's a short player. She's vulnerable to the lob, but that lob was pretty short. And two set points. Just missed it, Sveraba. Taking some deep breaths. 72 years since a French woman has been in the Wimbledon finals. She's a point away. Disappointing start. She lost 6-1 in the opening set and then battled back to take the second set tie break 7-6, seven, 7 points to 1, and then 6-3 here in the final set. You have to give so much credit to this girl. Lost the first set 6-1. She was overwhelmed, but she shook off those nerves and her game came together. The bad old side, <laughs> yes. I like this lawn at center court. She's in the Wimbledon Championship not since Suzanne Longland in 1925 has a French woman been able to lay that claim. There she is, Poziat. Now she can wait to see will it be Hingis, will it be Novotna on Saturday. Up next, the Sun America Sports Desk.